Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanti subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. We're going to be talking about Anna Alouette. Who's Anna Alouette? She is a... VTuber inside of uh, Nidhi Sanji. It's part of Third Wave, which is Etheria. And she, it has a 3D debut in a couple of days as of this recording. You know, it may actually have happened by the time you actually see this, if you see this after the 27th. But as of this recording, it is a 3D debut on the 27th at 2100 EDT. So that's 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The waiting room is there. 10 a.m. JST. I think she did it so that she can get the 10 a.m. JST spot. Well, She's been getting hate, as a lot of people in Nidhi Sanji and are getting hate as well. Some rightfully so, some not, because Anna has had certain things that she said in the past that were deemed as racist. There are certain things she said in the past that were deemed as insensitive, as uh, not being very PC, not being very good for PR, that type of stuff. So here's what she has to say about those people specifically. Let's see what she has to say. Too much fame, too many people watching your every move, looking to criticize anything. Ironically, ironically, what surprised me the most is that I'm pretty good with that sort of stuff, you know? Because I have a very, like, solid mindset where it's like... I mean, if you're spending all of your time criticizing other people, that means you're not really working on yourself. And the most ironic thing is that if you really... I, I agree with her there. If you're, if you're criticizing others, you're not working on yourself. You're spending energy on someone else. And I can understand that point. I can understand that point. But some points she makes are a little bit too rough, but that's kind of an end of thing. Really, like, look at these people. Like, they are so uninteresting. <laughs> like, they are so mentally ill. Like, you can tell. Like, uh, they... like, that part shows a little bit of anger or maybe frustration on her end um, that I think is showing a little too harshly here. They say some really crazy stuff. And no one reads and you're like oh my god that makes sense so you know but like low-key you don't really have to like like it would kind of i would be kind of insulting myself if i took them seriously and as much as i hate myself sometimes i don't think i hate myself as much as they hate themselves so you no know, sometimes when i think about it i just give myself a pat on the back and be like okay at least i'm working on myself Cause like, even if I didn't like somebody, I still wouldn't go out of my way to like criticize everything they do. That's a lot of work, and um, you know, like maybe I'll judge them like for like a second, and then the, the next second I'll just forget about them. It's like, why would I think about someone I don't like? It's kind of weird. And that is what we have with Enna. My take on this whole thing is she's saying, uh, I don't care what you say, but I'm going to care what you say. Because if you didn't actually care what they said, if you didn't actually read what they said, then you wouldn't have been making that specific comment. This is, of course, my opinion. Uh, because if you let them live in your head rent-free, as she seems to be doing right there, uh, that's when you start trying to have attack their their person, attack their um, you know who they are, their the any ethical points, any moral points, anything like that. You're you're gonna try to attack their integrity, attack their importance, saying no one reads them. Well, if no one read them, then how do you know the things that they said? How did you know that there were things against you? You obviously read it. You obviously ego search. There's nothing wrong with accepting that you ego search. A lot of people do it. A lot of YouTubers do it big and small. I don't know exactly what brought this about specifically. If it was maybe a super chat, if it was a chat that she was reading, I don't know what it is, but it seems disingenuous for her to say she doesn't care. Yet she decided to go on an almost two minute tirade or at least a minute or so tirade against the people who are doing these things. So if you really, really don't like someone, the best you can do is apathy and just do not deal with them. Obviously, she doesn't know how to do that. And obviously, just doesn't know about PC uh, or being PR, nice PR or anything like that. Because if trolls see this, you just gave them more fire. If trolls see this, they're like, oh, we got to her. We definitely got her. Let's keep going. Let's keep making this rough. Let's keep making this tough. Let's keep doing this type of stuff. You know, let's make sure this is all done. And that's the thing you don't want as a VTuber. And that's one issue that I have with the way that she dealt with this. Again, that's just my opinion. I'm not as big as her. I'm not big in Nidhi Sanji. Uh, it's obvious that I'm not actually a Nidhi Sanji uh, corporate fan. I'm not a fan of Nidhi Sanji corporate. I am a fan of VTubers doing the best that they can and doing the best that they can wherever they want. So that is my take on this whole situation. This is um, all being, of course, 
it's conjecture until proven otherwise. It is opinion. It is conjecture. It is not true. It is whatever you want to call it on those types of things. It is not actually true. Uh, this is something that is accused of someone who is um, Sonny, who was Sonny or is Sonny now. Sonny Briscoe, I believe. And um, this is what it says. It's, it's assumed. It's alleged. So this is not 100% true. It's a rat out there, you know. Sketchick, a Team Fortress 2 YouTuber, faked having a terminal illness back in 2015, only to come back in 2019 after being caught using his Steam account and claimed that he was joking and didn't know why he did it in the first. So, yeah, that's Sonny Briscoe. And let's just go over a little bit of how all of this is. Here's the Wikitubia for Sketchcheck. It's incomplete. He's an Australian former YouTuber known for videos revolving around the shooter game Team Fortress 2. Initially, he enjoyed semi-popularity on YouTube. And, uh, you know, he had a Team Fortress 2 community. Recent years, he has become notable for faking a terminal illness. He did fake his terminal illness. Uh, his content was, you know, Team Fortress 2 related. The controversy is 2015. He claimed he had a terminal illness and died from it. However, in 2019, he reappeared because of course people are always going to be checking their stuff it's like oh sketch check is actually doing something online and here you go uh prior to this many people were close to him monitored his social media accounts had noted that there had been some form of activity going on in them and suspected him of being faking his death eventually he was found out and uploaded an apology he had uh valve themselves had a uh situation with him where they were actually having a, a partnership with him and this is who he is now this is who he is now he's now sunny briscoe who is uh, a part of the nickname Commander, Taicho, etc., etc. He is in Nidhi Sanji Yen. He is, uh, you know, the age is classified and all that kind of stuff. He is a virtual YouTuber with fifth wave Noctics along Uki, Albin, Fulger, and Yugo. And of course, he has been going there for a while. He's been doing this for a bit. He actually showed up on the 27th of February of 2022 on YouTube. So I've been doing this for more than th two years now. He has not had any controversies as far as I can tell. He um, did have a background of uh, open up two sets of auditions for I think it was Luxium and Noctix I think at the same time. He ended up going for Noctix uh, and they had a teaser featuring new library's designs. Noctix made their debuts on the 27th of February as a part of a special debut program hosted on the Nidhi Sanji EN channel, commentary provided by Rainbow Endo and e Ike Eveland. Sunny was the first of the group to debut. Afterwards, all five members of the Noctics appeared on the main channel. He uh, reached 100k subscribers on March 10th. He had a lot of growth. On August 30th, Sunny reached 400,000 on the same year. So he grew pretty quickly. He grew from March to August, which is about four months. He grew a lot. Um, and he, on 14th of January, he went to Anime Impulse LA on 21st of February, and the other members of Noctix released their second original song, Break Free. He has the discography of, of Stuck in the Abyss, Break Free. He's done a lot of events. He has a lot of fans. He has a lot of people who love him. He has a lot of people who enjoy him now. The problem is that, of course, people will dig you up whenever they have a chance. They will absolutely dig you up and absolutely find out that you're sketch check. They'll find out that you're sketch check, and they will find out that you are um, doing things like this, that you are going for things like this, and they will absolutely hit you with it, like it's shown right here. And of course, people are going to have their opinions. Uh, I'm just going to share my opinion at this point, because of course, you can read the opinions of other people here. Um, and just one opinion I want to say, it says, uh, someone says, like, today I learned Sonny Briscoe had uh, a TF2 incident. I had no idea he became Sonny. Like a lot of people had no idea Sketchcheck became Sonny. And that's the thing. They have no idea that that they uh, became Sunny. And of course, it's going to look very badly on him. Of course. Other one that I think you guys would like to hear about. She did a thing recently in her most recent stream. She has um, something where she has, uh, let's just say she made a special site, a special thing right here. Fansly. She made a Fansly for her feet. She made a feet Fansly. This is something that uh, I don't think people were expecting. I don't know if people expect this type of stuff from her. I sure as heck didn't. I sure as heck didn't expect uh, her to make this, but this is just, let's keep going with what I have to say about this. Of course, let's go. S, and are you about her new Fansly? Oh yeah, ha 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 ha. Well, I was there, I made a Fansly account. I said, fuck she it, I'm did. free, I'm not doing anything. Okay, go on. And it's literally gonna be all pictures of my feet. People like her feet, my apparently. Life. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All feet pics, really? yeah. all feet pics. Really? Yeah. They're all gonna be feet oh. pics. Yeah. How much yeah. is it? How did your foot pay? 
How does your foot taste? That is what that is what she has to say. That is what she has to say. How does your foot taste? Interesting. Let's see what these people says. I can't tell if she's being serious or not. It scares me. No, she actually created it because people actually found it. People actually found the Fansly. She actually created a Fansly. Discussing what's the account so I can make sure to avoid it at all costs. I love Renny's total unreaction. I mean, she's getting close to 100k subs. Got to keep that tradition going. Of course. And Science Synchronicity is at 99.1k subscribers. Of course, go and show them some love. If you haven't already, a lot of people here already show them love. And I hope they continue showing them love. Of course, that's what I want. Here we go with Michi joking uh, about, and no harm, but I still find it funny. Let's see what they have to say. Let's see what happens. Mods, do you like my chat more than me? Of course, be always. Be honest, I'm new, so I'm loyal to you, but I can be con... <laughs> no. <laughs> if you do that... I won't even pay you. I will I will deduce 2% out of your money. Oh, the joke. <laughs> Why 2% specifically? God, I can't stand this shit. Okay. I will say this right now. I don't mean to say The Vietnam things, War flashbacks. Right? 2 is a very common number. That yes, is of not course. me trying to say anything specific. Of course not. That was me genuinely joking around. Of course not. Y'all got to stop connecting dots, bro. I don't mean no harm. Of course not. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, that's me. That's me. I, I'm just, I'm just dumb, you see. But the two percent was obviously done in a specific way. It was obviously done to, you know, arouse suspicion to, to the do the Vietnam War flashbacks. She, because she chose two. Of course. Okay, this is my opinion. Don't take it as gospel. Don't take it as fact. That's the way I see it. A lot of people are seeing it this way too. Ow. A lot of people are definitely seeing it this way, and they are, of course letting like this definitely was no filter comment straight brain mouth to, with no stops exactly i mean i i agree with this one these are all of course comments the only comment that's actually here um i don't know why there aren't any more comments but it's the only comment that i can see here so uh we have uh more comments we have more comments now okay good uh she almost had no filter uh started a debut with welcome back uh michi mika nothing new you'll get used to it after watching her two percent yep people are saying that again this is all uh somebody you know like myself make connecting dots that may not actually be there she may have just chosen two percent because it was something it was a number that was in her mind but it's too close to the whole two percent nidhi sanji thing it's too close to everything that is happening that has happened with the uh, you know two percent merch situation um it's just too much of a coincidence for it not to become a meme now i mean the two percent thing did become a meme because nidhi sanji as we know at least as is alleged by past people like Mista and Zion. It's an allegation because we don't know anything that's actually in there. But the allegation stands that yes, it is 2% that they give for any merch. As we all know, Mint Phantom, Made Mint, is uh, not Pomu. And Henya is uh, not Pikame. And they're both uh, technically independent. Vishojo has Henya, they're managing Henya. And Made Mint is their own VTuber, their own you know personal VTuber. So recently they had a collab that was Hell Divers 2, from what I understand. And they had a moment where they were together, alone. And they're basically both freaking out. They're saying that tummy hurts. I don't know why her tummy hurts. Okay, let me let them know that I'm ready. I'm She's ready nervous, now. possibly. <laughs> She's probably nervous. <laughs> I get the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hello? Oh, Hi! Oh, you, you're it. huge! I thought you were a bio, I gotta shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> you're messed up. Hello! Henya's in here. Henya, she's fixing her. <laughs> she freaked out with Henya. Henya's Hello? her Oshi, I believe. So Henya's like her Oshi, or one of her Oshis. So that's why Henya freaks out. Uh? Meanwhile. Oh, she's <laughs> good. All right, bye guys. <laughs> I heard about it, but never got to Minsen. <laughs> she's laughing. Uh, hi. hi. They're freaking out. Uh, They're freaking out. <laughs> nice weather today, isn't it? Hello? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I disconnected. It was really weird. Really weird. Yeah, leaving them together. <laughs> Are you okay? Is everything okay with you? I'm throwing up after you're talking to me. You said you're going to go to the I enjoyed it too much. I enjoyed it too much, so and she threw up. Why are you throwing up? Why are you throwing up, Dale? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. She, uh, she kind of, you know, got too excited and threw up and everything. So that's that's what happened with Mint and uh, Henya when they had their little moment together, their little lovely moment together that you know 
I'm pretty sure they both enjoyed because like I said, uh, Mint, I believe had said at one point that Henya is her uh, specific Oshi, or at least that's what I've heard. I've heard against from third party sources and opinions, and allegations, etc. that she's an Oshi of hers, not her specific Oshi, but an Oshi of hers. Someone that she pushes, something, someone that she supports. So that's always good. And it's always funny to have, you know, these two people who are very professional and, you know, have been very professional in their careers. I uh, have little moments like that. That's always fun. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.